Hey everybody, welcome back to From Under the Rug, the channel that shows you a new side to those you may have had respect for. Today we're taking a look at a very similar case that occurred in my older Nickelodeon video, and that's plagiarism, but it's not on a television company, but rather website. This is about the Daily Wire, a conservative site that is fairly popular, being run by Ben Shapiro. I know some people, including myself, have some relatively strong views towards him, but that's not going to be relevant to this. Rather the fact that somebody in their team is guilty of plagiarism on their Amazon store. To start off, this is Twitter user 100soft. They have a variety of items on their store such as pins, shirts, and posters. One of them being this dumpster fire shirt. This is just a comical design, but it became very notable recently as this morning the video is being uploaded on. It was taken by somebody on the Daily Wire and sold at the official shop by Amazon. On this comparison here, it's very easy to see the similarities, as the stolen one only has a few minor changes. Virtually everything but a very slight tone of color difference and the letter D on it are the same, right down to the line placements on the front and right side. It was meant as some sort of joke on the next Democratic debate, claiming it would be, well, obviously, a dumpster fire. I'm not sure if it will, considering that it hasn't happened yet, but I know that this isn't exactly the right way of getting that point across. I'd like to make a recommendation if that person on the team is watching this video. Try less illegal methods of artistry. I'm not a successful artist by any means, but I know not to claim something that it's mine when clearly it isn't mine. I would point out who on their team did it, but their team is so varied that I'm not honestly sure who did it, and their page is now deleted, so I can't look and see if there's any information on there anymore. Regardless, if you do watch, try making another Ben Shapiro quote, since those are already most of them that are sold. Why fix a strategy that isn't broken? So what's changed since 100soft pointed it out? Well, it's gotten them to have their item removed since it was up on their official Amazon store, and their post was deleted earlier, but as of now there has not been any official word from either Ben Shapiro or the official Twitter page about what had happened, or what will happen to whoever stole the art. I do imagine that that will come soon, but they've been silent for the time being. I'll be watching for a win slash if they do say something about it, as by comparison Nickelodeon was too large of a company to be very concerned about that, and it's not quite as easy to hold them accountable. Their CEOO, Jeremy Boring, said that he approved it and didn't think it was stolen, so they likely know at least who stole the design, and certainly know the original artist who made it now. That's really about all that there is to the story as of now, and hopefully there's a proper resolution to what happened. I'll likely make a video if anything really significant shows up in the story. For now, I'd recommend supporting 100soft, the original author of the image, as I think their stuff is pretty good, and it's at least not stolen to make fun of the democratic debates. Also, don't blame Ben Shapiro or Jeremy Boring for this, as they aren't the ones who stole it as far as I've found so far. And while it's not good that they got it past them, they likely didn't know it was taken from someone at all. Their artist that stole the art to begin with is the one who should really take the blame here. The last little bit to this video here are my sources, which are the original art page, and the image that normally I would put a link to in the description of the exact tweet, but it's now kind of deleted so it's a little bit difficult, that was advertising the now stolen art. If there is anything else to the story that you would like me to discuss now, or a different topic altogether, please let me know in the comments section below, and thank you for watching.